Okay, the next component we have to draw is the, the actual cam lever itself. So we're going to draw on the top plane. We're going to draw a circle to start off with of 16 millimeters in diameter. And just zoom in for a bit so that it's sort of out to one side of the screen. We're then going to put a line in here, vertical line. And we're going to make that line so it's 70 millimeters away from the middle of the circle. Next thing, we're going to use the spline tool, and the spline tool is going to be coincident with this line. So we just kind of just zoom in a little bit. So it's coincident with the line. Try not to link it directly to this point back here somewhere. And then just draw a line which has a little flick in it at the end like that. Okay, then right mouse click and select. Select your circle and select the line. Now we want to make them tangent to each other. Like that. Uh, just move this around a little bit so that the, the lever just takes on more of a shape that we might want it to be. Somewhere like that. Should do. And then we need to go back to the spline tool and put another line in underneath here. So we'll start somewhere up in this top quarter. From there to about there. To about there. Mouse click and select, select the line, and you just drag the, the handles around so that the handle looks so it sort of gets wider at this end and tapers down slightly towards the end. So you get a nice smooth curve between the lines. That looks to be about okay. Right mouse click and um, just zoom in a bit. Zoom in to fit. Okay, and we can then our trim tool. What we're going to do is we're going to trim that little piece off, trim that piece out of there. This is just telling us that if we do this, we're going to lose the, the, the line's tangent from here to here, but the line will actually move, so we'll just, leave, we'll just click yes for OK. We need to delete the end of this line and the end of this line. So there, our lever is more or less everywhere, is more or less in the same shape, in the right shape. Next thing to do is just draw a circle in, in here that allows us to create the cami type action. So I'll zoom in on here, just above the circle, on this on this line, just click and drag a circle, and make it eight millimeters in diameter. And then at the middle of this circle, click on there and the origin, and make it half a millimeter, 0.5. so that we've got the distance changing from here to the outside of the circle is changing gradually all the time which allows the camming action to pull the, uh, the bolt through and pull the clamp together so if we just zoom out uh, exit the sketch press the right mouse sorry the space bar and click on isometric and then go to extruded boss base and extrude the shape out for 14 millimeters automatic. Okay, there's our lever. It's more or less done. Right, next thing, there's a couple of things we need to do. First one is we'll just round this end off a bit. So I'll select that line, put a fillet on of 7 millimeters, and then we can select this bottom edge here as well. And we have a, a nice rounded end on the, on the lever. And then click to accept the feature. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw on the front plane. Right mouse click and sketch. Spacebar and normal too. I think what we'll do we'll have a look at it in wireframe as well. Okay, so let me zoom in a bit. Is that wireframe? I will pick the right one. Wireframe. Okay, this now we've got the holes here. These two lines here are the depth of the hole. So what we'll do is I want to put in a rectangle to cut out a slot in here from there out at the end to right on the outside here. Need to put a couple of measurements on it. This measurement here to the top of there 
to the top of that line there needs to be 4 millimeters, and the distance from there to here needs to be 6 millimeters. Exit the sketch, spacebar, isometric, go back to our rendered view, and then what we're going to do an extruded cut so that we're working from the mid plane, and extrude it out all the way, and click to accept the sketch. And now what we've got is our camming lever so that we can put a piece down through the middle of here, and we can have a bolt that works on this part here. So that's our cam lever drawn. Click around to make sure everything looks okay. That looks fine. I suppose later on, cosmetic things we could put on would be maybe a, a fillet on here of I don't know, something like 0.3 of a millimeter just to make it a bit smoother. And you could do the same on this part here. And it'll just make it a bit easier on the hand, perhaps, when you're actually opening and closing the, the lever. So press the space bar, isometric, file save and we'll call this part cam lever and that's the end of this part